The Adams County Coroner has now confirmed Elijah McLean's autopsy report was changed at some point before three Aurora police officers and two paramedics were charged in his death. Colorado Public Radio first reported that news. Nine News reporter uh, Matt Jablo following the story and joining us now, Matt, you don't really hear about this often, like an autopsy being changed in criminal chase cases. You don't, Alex, but the Adams County coroner says it was in this case because of testimony given in the grand jury investigation into McLean's death. The initial autopsy said McLean's death was undetermined and based in part on that, the Adams County DA decided not to press charges. But in December of 2020, the Colorado Attorney General began that grand jury investigation, during which medical experts testified that it was the ketamine injection that killed McLean. Sometime after that, the autopsy report was changed, though the Adams County coroner won't say exactly what it was changed to. Nine News legal expert Scott Robinson says the competing autopsies will be a big part of the trial if the case goes that far. The defense can point to the original autopsy conclusion, which was that the cause of death was undetermined. While the prosecution will, of course, want the jury to accept the amended autopsy report, which pretty much pinpoints ketamine as the probable cause of death. In a written statement today, the Adams County coroner said right now she could not release the amended autopsy report because it contains confidential grand jury information. Each of the five people charged in the case face one count of manslaughter and one count of criminally negligent homicide. Kim and Alex. It'll be interesting what happens next, given the fact that both sides now have this information. And very interesting, of course, to see the details of that amended autopsy report. Yeah, thank you, Matt.